I'm going to show you a great piece of software right now that can open legacy Excel files even when you've forgotten the password. And I'm going to be testing another service that will open modern Excel files and remove the passwords from them as well. Now watch closely because I'll also be revealing some software license keys later in the video. I'm John on Up for Excel, and I think we need to look straight away at this free piece of software. So, where can you get it? This is it. So, we can, it's freewordexcelpassword.com, works on Excel and Microsoft Word files. As long as they were recorded in Excel, the old versions of Excel that used to use the file extensions XL. S, so not XLSX as the modern ones do. Now this is great because obviously if you've forgotten your passwords to the file, chances are they're pretty old files, so it's going to be perfect, does it completely for free. You hit the download button, down it comes, and you can install it from there, but rather than do that now, I already have the version, so we'll open it. So this is it, fairly straightforward, little welcome page, pick your language, hit next. Pick your file. Right, so let's start with an easy one. I've got on my desktop here, crackme.txt. So these two files here are old Excel files. In fact, you can see over here, it says Microsoft Excel 97 to 2003. That's what you want. This one, the password I happen to know is test. So I'm going to put that in there. So let's open that. Now just to prove that it is test and it is a password, I do this one, it's asking for a password, type in test, in we go, it's an empty file but whatever. So let's close that, pick the file, hit next. Now you can try a dictionary attack, which is going to go through their dictionary, or you can download it, but well, if you click on this, you can put it any dictionary you want in here, and if you go on the internet you can find like substantial amounts of dictionaries that you can download that might be more comprehensive. I'm just going to demonstrate a brute force attack, which is just going to try like absolutely everything. So the settings here are fairly straightforward. You've got your character set, so just lowercase, just numbers, just uppercases, any kind of combinations, and then also special characters. Let's start with the most simple, which is just lowercase characters. What's our password length? Well, We'll say anything from one to four, so shall we, just to test it. Hit next, just go, off it goes, and look at that. Straight away, comes back with the password saying test. So it's found our password, and that's great. We can now just open the file, that password. Now, obviously, that was a pretty straightforward example there. It was a straightforward password. It only had four characters. So how's this software going to perform on something more complicated? Well, I ran a few tests to have a look and see how we got on. I tried a brute force attack with all of those special characters in it. Completely, you know, all the numbers, all the letters, all the upper and lower case and the special characters. So on a four character password, it was taking on my computer, which is a couple of years old now, but was a pretty decent spec. It's taking about five minutes. Okay, so that's very respectable, very respectable, especially for free software on your own computer. Taking that up to five characters. Now, I didn't let it finish, but the rate at which it was going and the percentage it checked seemed to indicate it'd probably take about three hours to do a five character password. Now, bear in mind that is something that you could easily just leave on overnight or whatever, but the chances are you probably wouldn't run it like that with special characters. I'm hoping that you're going to be using this on your own files. You certainly should be. And so you might have some idea as to the kind of passwords that uh, you would put in, and you're going to know whether or not they do include special characters and roughly how long they are. So I think as you go up, you know, for four characters takes five minutes and five characters is going to take three hours. Six characters are obviously going to take longer still. And there's an absolute dead limit on this software of eight characters. Okay, 
What are you gonna do then if you think you might have more than eight characters or you're not using an XLS file or the software just says, sorry, give up, can't find it. That's where the web service comes in. Okay, so back on the website then, free, free word Excel password .com. Now, instead of doing a download then, we can do use the online service. And we click in here and we're gonna get something very similar, but this time it's all gonna be online. So click on unprotect the file, fairly straightforward. We're gonna choose our file. And just to, for a bit of security, you can then remove the file from their servers after they remove the password. So let's choose a file, let's choose something bit more complicated. Now you can see in here, I've got the password on this crack me dot, it's still a legacy file, is a very, very complex password, way more than eight characters. Couldn't have done it with that downloaded software, even though it's a legacy Excel file. So let's try that one. So we'll do click on that. We'll do next step and we'll do remove password. Now they can actually find passwords for you as well but they do need you to put in a license key in advance. What they'll do is they'll let you download a version of the file with the password removed, but it only reveals sort of like the top five rows or so of each sheet. So it's kind of like proof that they have got the file and they can remove the password. And then of course, they will have to pay for the service. Now, it's about, about 16 great British pounds, which is about $20, something like that, or I think it's about 20 euros. So links for the license keys are in the description if you want to buy one, but I will be revealing a couple of license keys in a minute so you can do that for free if you're quick. So we're gonna hit remove password and next. Complete instant to remove that password again. So it's saying, right, let's click download then and we'll have a look and yeah it was straight in tried to crack me we did so these license keys what are they right if i just click there you'll see there we go a couple of license keys that you can use now these will give 10 of you completely free service to remove passwords yeah if you get in quick then you can use this service completely for free Otherwise, we're look at, you're looking at, like I say, about 15, 16 pounds or about 20 US dollars, 20 euros, that sort of amount of money. Let's test some of my own files now. So in here, I have this one here, another one with the password is test, try and keep it simple. So this one's also got protected sheets and quite a lot of sheets and a lot of data, you know, you've got 8,000 rows of data. Now, it took less than a second to crack the password on this, and I'll show you now the file it revealed to me. Uh, so, cracked preview, this is what I was able to download completely for free. And you can see we've got all the sheets here, and just the first few rows. So that to me definitely proves, you know, they've got without a shadow of doubt, they've got this file and they've got it unprotected. So I got the license key and downloaded the original, the full cracked version, which was here. Not only is everything in it, as I would expect, but also it unprotected all the sheets too. Move the pictures around and things like this. As a little bonus, I suppose. That was a standard XLS X file. Also tested something a little bit more complex, which was password on a XLS M file, so a macro file. So I'll just show you this file. This is very similar really, but it's got macros in it uh, here as well. So you can see it's got macros. Now that one, Again, practically instant on this online service. It's straight in, cracked it, cracked full password here, and again removed the sheet password. So 
It's obviously something it just does by standard. What about saying a bit more complicated? Well, I also tested a up for Excel password. And what I got was this message here, which starts with unfortunately, but I don't actually think it's that unfortunate because what it's saying is it could not remove the protection and it meant sort of instantly because it would take about five minutes to try. Uh, it says you might still be able to get it with the help of their supercomputer. So, and it gives you the option to uh, find the password for the file uh, and send it with to the supercomputer. So, got to be worth a shot. All the links to everything I've talked about today are in the video description. Make sure you go back and have a look at those three keys as well that I revealed a little bit earlier. Uh, give it a whirl and you might get your password removed completely for free. So good luck, I'll see you soon.